guys welcome to a new video in today's video we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is sum multiples in this question we are given a positive integer n and we need to find the sum of all the integers between the range 1 and n both inclusive which are divisible by either 3 or 5 or 7 and our task is to return an integer denoting the sum of all the numbers between the given range satisfying the constraint and the constraint is you have to check if a number is divisible by these three numbers 3, 5 or 7. Now let's take a look at these examples and see how this question can be solved. Let's take the same example given to us. This is n given to us as 7. So the range will be 1 to 7 right as mentioned in the question both inclusive. So we run a for loop. So here i will represent the numbers between the range 1 and n. So i will start from 1 and until it is equal to n. So here we, it will run from 1 to 7. And now we have to check if i is divisible by 3, 5 or 7. So divisibility I'm going to use modulus operator. So if at least one of these conditions pass, I'm going to declare a variable sum and add i to it. So sum will be initially 0. So first i is equal to 1 and it will check till i is equal to 7. So 1 is not divisible by 3, 5 or 7. 2 is not divisible by 3, 5 or 7. 3 is divisible by 3. So add i to sum. So sum which was initially 0, you add 3 to it. And next iteration 4, 4 is not divisible by 3, 5 or 7, 5 is not divisible by 3, 5 is divisible by 5, so add 5 to the sum. 6 is divisible by 3, so add 6 to the sum. 7 is not divisible by 3, 7 is not divisible by 5, 7 is divisible by 7, so add 7 to the sum. And now i is equal to 8, but this condition will fail. So we end our iteration and come out of the for loop and whatever is present inside sum will be returned as the output. So sum is 21 which is the expected output. Now let's take a look at the java code. Coming to the function given to us, this is the function name and this is the integer n given to us and a return type is an integer denoting the sum of the numbers between the range. So I'm declaring the output which is initially 0. I'm going to name it sum which is being returned here. I'm using the for loop within the given range. The range starts from 1 and goes until n. So here equal to is important because n is also inclusive within the range. So this i is going to represent each number between the range 1 and n. So I'm going to check if that number is divisible by 3 or if it is divisible by 5 or if it is divisible by 7. So if a number is divisible by either of these numbers it will leave a reminder 0. So I'm checking using the modulus operator whenever i is divisible by either 3, 5 or 7. If it is leaving a reminder 0 then that is a divisible number and I'm using the OR operator because I have to check at least one condition passes. I can consider that element to add it into the sum. So if this condition passes for each i, I'm adding i into the sum. This for loop will happen for all the elements between the range 1 and n. And finally outside the for loop I'm returning the sum which is the expected return type. Let's run the code. The test cases are running. Let's submit the code and our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n where n is the number given to us to calculate the range and the space complexity is O of 1 constant space because we are not using any extra space to compute the output. That's it guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.